This is a LEGO minifigure, and this is a LEGO minifigure walking. I animated this by taking a bunch of pictures of me slightly moving the minifigure, and I'm gonna spend the next 100 hours animating a bunch of cool LEGO scenes, to go from making stuff like this, to stuff like this. Now every LEGO movie has been made with stop motion animation, but since we're not on that level yet, it's $37. What awesome! I'm gonna start off with some basic everyday LEGO bricks before advancing into juicier stuff. So first, I wanted to animate my favorite thing, smashing. I built this LEGO ball and then this flat LEGO plank, and then recorded me hammer fisting each one so that I can put the clips together to form this. If you love smashing like me, this is a pretty easy animation to make. After that, another cool trick I've seen is cutting LEGO with a knife. So I tried it myself, where I started off with a stack of two stud wide bricks and then replaced them with a stack of one stud wide bricks and recorded me slicing the blade through it and anyone looking at this for the first time might just think I'm a master samurai instead of a kid in their mom's basement. Next, to level it up, I'm gonna smash Lego again, but this time I built up this Lego hammer and this tall Lego worm that I built up using orange bricks that I'm about to destroy. Cause now I'm animating me smashing him with the hammer by removing a brick off the top and moving the hammer lower each time. And to make it extra realistic, I used pieces to make the body spill onto the base plate to make it look like it's slime and the entire body was spreading out. And after two hours of cooking with gas, I think we got our best animation so far. Okay, while filming that animation, I stepped on this Lego magic wand that I built earlier, which gave me the idea to animate a magic trick. So I reused the bricks from the last stop motion, and this time my plan is to get a bunch of pictures of me moving the wand up, while at the same time stacking another brick onto this tower, so that now I can use the pictures to make satisfying videos like this of the wand controlling the bricks. I now identify as Harry slash Potter. Okay, next, I'm gonna animate Lego minifigures doing stuff. So I built up this guy, Sergeant Sausage, and then animated him building his own minifigure by moving his arms back and forth and giving birth to Spider-Man. Now using these two figures, I'm gonna animate the basics by first making a Lego man walk. To do this, I moved his arms and legs back and forth and repeated this pattern for a while until we got this. Why does bro sound like a Minecraft slime? But that's too slow, so now I'm gonna animate running. First, I tried to just speed up the walking animation, but that just looked lamer than me running away after turning the lights off. So to actually animate a minifigure running, I made the minifigure's motion way more intense by making him skip studs, and here's how it turned out. Okay, after seeing that, we definitely have a lot to get better at. So next, something that I thought would look really cool is Lego being built by itself. So I slowly took apart this Lego bench and then got a bunch of frames of it being built from start to finish. And here's what I came up with. It looks really satisfying. Okay, and since Spider-Man was able to run and Sergeant Sausage wasn't, it's time to animate them fighting. So I animated Sergeant Sausage winding up and throwing the first punch, sitting Spider-Man down. That was a really cool animation, but Spider-Man wasn't done because he got back up and decided to throw a massive kick and I used the trick to represent him leaping from the ground by using some transparent pieces, but even though he threw a sick kick, Sergeant Sausage ducked just in time and headbutted Spider-Man in the face, sending him to sleep. Night night. And here's the full fight scene I animated. How does this foot taste? Alright, next, let's animate some weapons. First, I'm gonna try and animate a basic gunshot. I chose some transparent red pieces to animate the gunfire, and here's him spam clicking. And I used this 10 million IQ trick where I held this Lego laser piece out of the camera's frame so it looks like the bullet's floating and I didn't have to wreck my brain in Photoshop. Okay, next, what about a flamethrower? I built one up for Sergeant Sausage and then tried to animate him using it by starting off with some tiny flame pieces and then getting bigger until the flamethrower was at max power and I even moved around the hair of Sergeant Sausage to make it look even more intense. Next, I've seen a bunch of these videos of people chopping things with katanas, so I gave one to Sergeant Sausage and I'm gonna try and recreate Fruit Ninja and Lego. I first animated him swinging back with the sword, and then to represent the apple being thrown, I literally just kept throwing it at the sword until I hit it, and then slowed down that clip. And then while he was swinging the sword, I had to represent the chopped fruit, so I used some tape to add some tiny red pieces onto the katana, and here's how the final animation turned out. Next, water spilling looks really good in stop motion, so I gave Sergeant Sausage a bucket of water. Now I'm gonna animate him drinking it and then spilling it by using some transparent blue pieces to represent the spilled water, and here's how it turned out. Next, I always see these videos of people crushing things with cars, and they always involve a ton of wasting food, but since I'm gonna do this with Lego, the only thing I'm wasting is 9 hours of my time. So I grabbed this thick Lego car and first animated me running over a Lego glass bottle, and after some trial and error, this is what I got. Then I decided to try to animate the car running over a ball. And for the final crush, I was inspired by this scene in Ratatouille. But the sound... Oh. Where cracking the bread sounds so satisfying, I'm gonna make the car run over a baguette.
Next, I'm gonna try and animate a shark attack. So to do this, I started off with a blue base plate and then found a bunch of tiny gray pieces that looked like a shark's fin. And then got a bunch of pictures of me slightly moving around the fin around the figure's body so that it looked like the shark was circling around him and was about to attack. And then I animated the attack itself by making the fin go underwater and pulling Sergeant Sausage down. But he don't give up without a fight because then using some ice cream pieces, I represented them fighting underwater. And then guess what? Sergeant Sausage came back alive, pulling the shark up himself and making it his pet. Yeah, what started as a scary animal attack turned into a wholesome story. Next, after all these Lego fight scenes with a bunch of violence, I want to make something peaceful. So I animated Sensei Wu walking up to a pot. It takes a while because he's old. And then using his old person magic to sprout a plant. Hopefully that gave you some inner peace because next, I'm gonna animate a minifigure throwing up. I decided to make a setting a Lego plane because that's the perfect place for someone to get sick. And then I used this trick where I switched out the face of the Lego minifigure to represent him getting sick. And then I had him bend down and to represent the throw up coming out of his face, I replaced his head with these green pieces that I transformed into this super long strand of disgustingness. And then to spice it up, I added in random objects that he was barfing out and make sure to eat as much food as possible before you see this. <laughs> Mario! <sighs> Okay, for the next stop motion challenge, I'm gonna try and make an epic action sequence similar to stuff from Fast and the Furious. So I started off with giving Spider-Man a car and then animated it slowly driving. When out of nowhere, Sergeant Sausage ran up to the car and hijacked it like it's GTA. I animated him breaking the glass with his head by replacing the window piece with some smaller builds and then I had him block Spider-Man's web and throw him out of the taxi, taking it for himself. This already looks like what I would imagine as a nine year old, but we're still not done. Because next, something I thought would be really cool is Sergeant Sausage drifting the car. So I first animated it driving and then accelerating and turning. I used some flame pieces and smoke pieces to represent the effects. And after making the car drift, I wanted to make it do spins and leave marks on the road, kind of like what you see in movies. So I got some frames of the car spinning around and used dark gray pieces to represent the marks on the road. And after a while, it looked really good, except out of nowhere, Spider-Man was back, and I animated him shooting his web at the car, flipping it over. And to represent the aftermath of that, I used some flame pieces to make the car lit on fire. And now that Spider-Man has won the fight, I animated him hitting the gritty, because when you beat a man that powerful, you gotta celebrate. Except he celebrated too soon, because Sergeant Sausage was still alive. But Spider-Man noticed and quickly shot some web right at his face. But Sergeant Sausage, in the speed of light, summoned his old friend. And now he's beaten Spider-Man once and for all, I don't think he can come back from that. Okay, before the final animation, some of the tricks I've been learning to make animations better are taping the base plate down so that nothing moves while filming. Imagine after two hours of animating, it just moves and have to restart. I would rage quit so hard. Adding characters in the animation so it would be more fun, and having enough light pointed at the subject. Honestly, you don't even need lights this big, just make sure that it doesn't look like it's being filmed in a dungeon. Also, you don't need a camera like this, a phone works, an iPad works, and now you're ready to animate LEGO yourself. But first, we gotta do the final animation, a lightsaber duel. Something I've always wanted to do as a kid. So I transformed Sergeant Sausage into a Jedi and added in Darth Vader for him to fight. Hello there. I made him ignite his lightsaber by using some blue pieces, and then instead of Darth Vader responding with his own lightsaber, I thought it would be cool if I animated him summoning an entire army using the force. So I slowly moved his hand up and slowly built minifigures to match the movement and here's how it turned out. So now I'm animating a fight between Sergeant Sausage and this entire army surrounding him. I started with all the clone troopers firing at him by photoshopping in some gunfire but then Bruh. since their aim is trash I had Sergeant Sausage move his lightsaber to block off the shots. So then, the troops had to find another way to attack him, so I animated a bunch of them charging at him from different directions, and for Sergeant Sausage to defend, I animated him doing a bunch of stunts, and just take a look at what I cooked up. I made him roll away to dodge attacks, and then probably made my coolest animation so far, where I animated him slicing three of the clone troopers, and to represent the bodies falling, I connected the two halves of the body using tape, then, there were only three clone troopers left, so for one of them, I animated him chucking his lightsaber into their no-no square, and then animated him rolling between the other two. But now he was defenseless and shot at from both sides. But that's not an issue for the goat, because I animated him ducking, causing one of the stormtroopers to fire at the other one, leaving only one of them still alive. And to beat him, I animated him using the force to get his lightsaber and attack him. And now that all the minifigures were wiped out, it's time for him to fight Darth Vader himself. So I spent the next two hours animating an epic lightsaber duel, using my favorite scenes from the actual Star Wars movie and some of my own creativity. And here's what I cooked up.
And here's what the entire Star Wars animation looks like. And there is the final stop motion. Comment down below your favorite in this video. We definitely improved a lot from the start, but there's still a lot that we have to learn. And subscribe or this dinosaur will eat you.